Oh, good morning, Rafa. Euro USD. Yes, we are going to look at Euro USD. I promise you that one. Oi, Buffo. Hi, how are you? Please kindly confirm that the sound quality is okay by saying okay in the comment section. We talked about UK oil yesterday as well and um, we were right at this area when we talked about the UK oil and we were saying that um, we were expecting that this will probably be a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom where we look for breakout of structure a retest to confirm our trend continuation to the upside and I said that despite the fact that we are in a demand zone we will be looking for, for structures that will negate that and I said something I said if we see a breakdown of this key level a retest of that key level of sorry a breakdown of that demand zone and a retest of that demand zone with this with signs that confirms that a trend condition to the downside is very very possible comes up then we can actually take a downtrend however um, we had our entry point if the sell opportunity happens around this area but as you can see even though we had one rejection if you actually took that trade uh, you probably have broken even because once price moved this far you would have moved your stop loss to break even at this point considering the fact that we're expecting a long-term bullish momentum on this one and um, now price is right back at um, our key level at this point as you can see we have a structure that looks more like this and price is back into that key level we identify so what is going to happen are we going to have a trend continuation to the downside or are we are going to have a breakout of structure that we can tell at this point but if we go closer into the um, three hours time frame, let me see what's happening on the three hours time frame. Or let's go to the daily, probably most preferably. Um, if we look at what's happening on the daily time frame, well, um, it is pertinent that we state this that um, we are still within a demand zone, and this area has a tendency of pushing price up, and it is pertinent that we. We put into consideration that um, we are right on a bullish trend line and this area is a very very sensitive area as anything can actually happen at this point a breakdown can happen a breakdown retest and same price crashing is very very possible at this point however um, if we want to be going uptrend on this one we really need to look for real good confirmations that will confirm that price is actually going up so scaling down to um, four hours, let's see what's happening on the four hours. Okay, on the four hours time frame, we have something that looks more like this, and um, uh, we have a, an impulse slip which we can work with. You can see what happened since um, the beginning of since the fifth of May. We saw price do a bearish impulse leg into 101.38 after which we started seeing um, consolidation phases that looks more that wants to look more like a reversal pattern that is um, it looks more like an inverse head and shoulder not only when we have the formation of the right shoulder around this area then a breakout of structure a retest into structure and confirmation to the upside so on the UK oil here um, there is a possibility that there are two possibilities in summary we have possibility that price might break down this trend line retest and send price crashing down and at the same time we have um, a scenario where we we remain patient and await the confirmation um, the signal of a bullish momentum probably after the formation of um, the complete formation of the inverse head and shoulder pattern where we will see a breakout of structure giving us a signal then a retest of structure which will give us a confirmation to the upside so any way you want to be trading this you will definitely want to be very very careful and look for ways around um, maximizing the advantage if it finally shows up so on the much lower time frame that's on the 15 minutes time frame well um, we have a bearish 
trend line and that's that's right on that impulse leg we identified on the on the higher time frame we have a bearish trend line something that looks more like this and um, we have that breakout of structure around this area giving us a signal that the bullish momentum as you can see that the um, the bearish trend line was holding price as it's holding price for some time as you can see price continued to reject that trend line not until later on um, this morning where we saw that breakout of structure and then we might be looking for a retest into structure to confirm a trend continuation to the upside so on the lower time frame we might be looking forward to on lower time frame the possibility of a downtrend is there and the possibility of an uptrend is also there as well but the possibility of an uptrend will only be be applicable if we see a breakout of that um, key level we identified on 105.5 I think 106 there about and we look for a retest to confirm the trend continuation to the upside so um, if you're look, looking at the lower time frame the bearish momentum is still there and um, if we really want to take a bearish it could be short term in the sense that um, I identified this trend line around here if we give it a red color and um, if we give it a red color we break down a retest then you want to sell so that means we might be having our entry point right around here which is something like this that's if you want to sell and then we have our stop loss right above that key level a little above that key level so we will be waiting for a signal in the form of a breakdown of this bullish trend line a retest into key level or trend line there about then we send price crashing to the downside so um, sorry I want to adjust this um, entry point to to somewhere around here so that is that on this one and if we if price is going to be going bullish then we want to be waiting for the breakout of that key level something like this and then a retest of that key level where we'll be setting price price will be setting itself to an uptrend continuation and it is very pertinent that I state here that our take profit target for any bullish momentum at this point should be within that um, 112 area or the supply zone which we can see in the past as being a level where sellers have been rejecting price action for some time so um, that is that on the US UK oil hello Scott uh, Benji how are you okay good morning so that is that on the UK oil then on USDJPY um, unfortunately I hit stop loss on USDJPY yesterday and um, I took my entry around this point and was waiting for I was waiting for um, we saw this signal yesterday I was waiting for that signal to move very well then a retest then I'll had the other two position into the other two position but unfortunately after that signal the signal was not strong enough as you can see let me zoom in closely so that we can have a look at what was happening around this area so the signal was not strong enough and we saw multiple rejections of 130 500 area before price moved to the downside so in that regard I got stopped out and um, though we're still within that buy opportunity zone where we'll be looking for opportunities to take a buy on this one so though, that's why the fact we are right below that trend line I'm still I'm still bullish on this one I still hold my bullish bias however if we see considering the breakdown of this we have this breakdown we saw this retest then we saw something like this then I want to be looking for probably price to go into that up a little bit then give me a sort of reversal setup then I might be going for that bearish move probably to this to this 
key level at 129 area however that being said um, we still need just keep our fingers crossed on this pair and let's see how price reacts as time goes by